there is some, some research that can make a big difference for patients and carers and can also improve the work situation of many of, of our clinical colleagues who, who are often having a bad time with these changes and the cuts to budgets. So there is some research that can help make things better for people. I think there is an important field for health research, which is about how do we enable patients and providers to take up more effective ways to do what to achieve what they want to achieve. And this isn't about machine implementation. It's about understanding the life space of patients and also understanding the workflows of workspace of professionals and knowing why they may very much want to use this new way of doing things, but it's impossible or very difficult for them to, to use it even if they know. And simply telling them that there is a more effective way and they really should do this and it is simply making them feel bad about their work being less effective than it should otherwise be and not really helping them. I think a lot of research has failed to understand the, uh, the real everyday life situation of patients and providers and what would enable them to take up more effective ways and is, is uh, deafeningly silent in the reality of adopting and taking up better ways to do something in, in the real life change thing. So that's why I think implementation research is extremely important. Another way to put it is a lot of people know about the translational pathway, the T1, T2, and from bench to bedside. Um, the way we explain it to our folks at the Karolinska and others, the sort of the high-end pure researchers, is we're dealing with the dark end about how more patients more quickly can benefit from this more effective treatment, and that's about implementation. And there is a science and theories and ways to study what helps and hinders ordinary practitioners and ordinary patients from benefiting from the new approach that you've developed. Another simple way to put it is um, we can improve the effectiveness of a medication by about 10%, and we spend billions of dollars trying to do that. But if you look at real life and patients' adherence to medications, for me that's the really important bit of implementation is whether patients follow the lifestyle change or the medication and what helps and hinders them in their, their everyday lives in adhering to medications. And that's implementation. Another way to put it is um, I had a hip operation. Uh, I'm a professor of health service research and a scientist and have done this for 35 years. Um, I should know that if I don't take painkillers, it's going to hurt. But frequently, six or eight hours later, I thought, my God, this is hurting. Well, of course, dummy, you haven't taken the painkiller. And it's as simple as that. It's pretty direct feedback. Uh, so what, what hope for someone who's taking preventative medication, trying to avoid a heart attack or stroke, where you really just don't, you know, it's sort of, oh my goodness, it's been three days since I took my medications. Oh, I better take them all at once. Or So adherence, simple things like adherence is for me implementation research.